my name is Tanya Peterson and I'm living in observatory. I currently work as an artist. I think that my travels and working abroad has helped me understand where I'm from and the issues that we face with every day, which is what my work talks about. Um, yeah, I think it's more like a realisation. Uh, it is my first solo show. A few months ago I did uh, show my work at the Cape Town Art Fair with Brandane. Um, and I have had my work shown abroad, but this is the first time I'll be on my own. The Barbie and Me project uh, deals with the inner conflict that I am faced with daily, being a Muslim, uh, growing up in a secular society. Uh, and when I looked into it and I really thought about where that conflict started, I realized that when I was about four years old, the first three things that I was given was my uh, prayer book, my prayer bag and the Barbie doll, which was just, I mean, now when I look at it, it's quite crazy. Uh, so I would go to Madrasa, which is Muslim school, and I would learn that as a girl, we should dress modestly and present ourselves modestly. And when I go home, I play with Barbie, who speaks everything against that. I mean, Barbie's just the ultimate exhibitionist, naked and just loud and proud. And then I have this yearning to be Barbie, but then inside, I know I shouldn't want to be Barbie. And that's where that struggle begins. I mean, you're so young, yet you're, really, you, you're conscious of what is right and what is wrong. And uh, you grow up and it takes you, the project then takes you into different phases. So I photograph myself um, as I would be as a child, you know, as the things that I aspired to, the image that I aspired to as a child, with me looking like Barbie. But I have a prayer mat behind me always because it is that that represents my conscience, you know, that conscience, that inner conscience. Um, and then I photograph myself again as I would have wanted to look when I was a, a bit older, as an adult. So I photograph myself an adult, a bit more sexier, you know, a bit more, I don't know, flamboyant or whatever. And then I take myself into motherhood, and motherhood then you you change because you start bringing yourself towards yourself again and you feel a responsibility towards your children so you change your image and you change how you present yourself to your children but inevitably their struggle begins because it is so intertwined into our um, into society I mean it's a western society and the struggle continues Uh, I Am Royal is, um, briefly, it is my heritage through costume over time. So what we were to what we've become, uh, I represent that through costume. So when we first arrived uh, from Indonesia 400 years ago, what we would have looked like. And then I take you to the different places that we were then moved to. So our first port of entry would have been the Cape Coast. And that is how we would have looked. And then um, we go into Bukap, and then from Bukap to different political regimes we were moved uh, then to District 6, and then from District 6 eventually now we at the Cape Flats. Um, and then you can see what sort of a stereotypical Cape Malay woman would look like at a ceremony. ceremony. Um, all the costumes is ceremonious costumes, um, and I speak about our pride and our dignity um, and how through all our movements and all through our change we remain proud and dignified. Photography allows me to have a voice. It's a, it's a different language that I can speak 
and uh, expose the conflict that I feel inside myself and hopefully I am successful at representing that inner conflict um, that not only I feel but that our whole maybe community feels or nation. I think that social media, I mean it's very much now, people are very active on these things. I think that's a very successful way that things get across. I mean, Art Africa is like 89,000 um, followers. Uh, I personally would love to see more work in public spaces. So what I would do is I would put up artists' work on billboards all around Cape Town and outside Cape Town, not just within the city, uh, and use that as a platform for commuters and everyday people to enjoy art. I mean, it must be amazing to just be on your way to work, park in your car next to some building, and you look up and you see this huge, huge uh, photograph of Ati Patraruga's work or something amazing. I mean, isn't that just the two seconds of your day just makes a difference? Yes, there's lots. The problem is uh, filtering them and keeping enough time to do all of them. <laughs>